Welcome back to the GoBros channel. The other day, I went out to look at these couple projects and um, I was talking to this guy and he said he would trade for one of my dirt bikes. So this is what I ended up with. A couple go-karts. They're all um, not in super rough shape, but definitely need some fixing up. All the brakes work. Engine should run. Um, I have one more over here. Something like that. Um, two of them run on alcohol and two are gas powered. And you may have heard I said two. That's because there is one more. Um, I have it pulled into the shop. That one by far is the coolest one yet. So let's go take a look. So here is the last one. This one by far is the coolest one yet. Um, it's fully caged. Uh, it's got a race motor on it. It doesn't uh, run on alcohol. This one's just gas. This one is pretty much fully customizable. Um, it has suspension all the way around, not a ton, but riding those other ones, man, anything's gonna make a difference than being stiff suspension. Um, gas tanks in there, aluminum gas tank, um, has a jack shaft. Uh, lots of cool stuff on here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start on this one because it was set up for a super small rider. Um, I couldn't even fit in there if I tried. Uh, the steering wheel, it has a quick connect on it so you can take it off while you're getting in. So that makes it super convenient. Um, yeah, so we're gonna take the hood off that and see what's under there. All right, so what I did here was these pedals, or this pedal assembly, I guess, was up here and I moved them as far back as they could go to give me another maybe foot of leg room. So now I can push the throttle all the way down and it doesn't hit the back or anything. Same with the brake. Um, yeah, so we got a little more leg room there. Now we're gonna try to tackle the seat. They have these spacers in there. So we're gonna take those right out and see if we can't get a little more leg room. got an idea um, I can almost fit in this seat but if I could get like another maybe half an inch on each side it would be like almost perfect so what I'm gonna try to do is try to um, bend this out a little bit uh, maybe hit it with a hammer or try to heat it up a little bit and see if I can bend those out a little bit but then it should be able to mount in there and it should be just about the right length. We got the seat all mounted in there. She's in there pretty tight. Um, I put the cushions back on and the harness back in. Um, now, uh, we're gonna move on to these gas lines. Uh, they're pretty, pretty brittle. These ones just cracked off. Um, got a couple other pieces here. Um, over here, Picked up some new gas line. We're just gonna go ahead and replace all this old stuff with new stuff. Put some gas in it, and we're gonna see if we can get her to fire up. Got the jumper pack all hooked up. We got some new gas lines on there. I uh, got the air filter off just in case I gotta spray some um, starter fluid in there. I'll go ahead and see if she's gonna start.
took the carburetor off and the pilot jet was completely plugged. So that's probably why it wasn't idling. Um, I had to take a little tiny drill bit and file it down and then spin it through there um, to get it cleared out. So we're going to give it a try here. Alright, so as you can tell, it is the next day, um, but that is going to conclude this video. Uh, this was the first episode of resurrecting these go-karts. Um, first one was definitely a success. Um, by far my favorite, so I wanted to get to that first to make sure I was going to be able to fit in it. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe and hit the like button. We'll see you in the next one.